Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Thank you for your sustenance over us since the beginning of this seven days prayer and fasting. Lord, we thank you. Your word says, they that wait upon the Lord shall map up wings like ego. You have done exactly like that for us as individuals and as a commission. Lord, we thank you for making us to map up wings like ego that we can fly, we can soar. Father, we thank you. And we thank you, God, some more this evening. Father, we celebrate your faithfulness for your power over us, for your lifting over us. Lord, we are grateful for your enablement. Lord, we are grateful. And we thank you, God, some more. And we celebrate him some more for the strength that he has granted us. For the strength that he has granted us right from the beginning. Since on Monday, God has engraved us all around. Lord, we thank you. And we thank you, God, some more. And we celebrate him some more. Thank God for the word that has been coming in Torrance. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for the word that we have been coming since this journey began. Lord, we are grateful. You have empowered us in all round. Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Give God thanks for tonight, for tonight's service. Give him thanks for the word that he has already prepared for us. Father, we thank you for the prepared word for this very service. Lord, we are grateful. And we thank you, God, some more. And we thank you, God, some more. Celebrate his faithfulness. Give God thanks for your expectation in this very service. All your expectation. The scripture says, the expectation of the righteous man shall never be cut off. Are you thanking God for your expectation in tonight's service? Are you celebrating God for our expectation for this service? And as we proceed, our expectation shall never be cut off. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Wave your hands out to your Father tonight in celebration. To God alone be all the glory. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Let's put our hands together in honor of Jesus as he leads us in high praise.
Hallelujah. I will exalt you, Lord. Oh, thou hast lifted me. Hey, above my enemies. Shop and a robe and there is love. I will exalt you, Lord. In a short while, we shall be rising up to give God thanks in this manner, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for diverse miracles, signs, and wonders in our midst that has resulted in influence of multitudes into this church. Let your name be louder. Acts chapter 5, verse 12 and 14, paraphrase. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people and believers 
We are the more added to the Lord, multitude both of men and women. In the light of this scripture, says, rise, as we engage them our hearts, our soul, spirits, and body, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for diverse miracles, signs, and wonders in our midst that has resulted in the influence of multitudes into this church. Let the Lord hear your voice of gratitude. Let the Lord hear your voice of appreciation. Tonight, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for diverse miracles, signs, and wonders in our midst that has resulted in the influence of multitudes into this church. Let the Lord hear you as you heartily engage, giving God thanks for his wondrous works in our midst, giving God thanks for his mighty acts in our midst, giving God thanks for his visitation in our midst, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for diverse miracles, signs, and wonders in our midst that has resulted in the influence of multitudes into this church. Let the Lord hear your heart and your voice of gratitude tonight. Uh, let the Lord uh, hear you expressively return the thanks uh, that is due him tonight. Uh, to him, uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for diverse miracles, signs and wonders in our midst that have resulted in the influence of multitudes into this church. Give God thanks from the depth of your heart. Give God thanks with passion. Give God thanks uh, as you are heartily engaged, returning the glory and the honor to do him tonight. Saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for diverse miracles, signs, and wonders in our midst that has resulted in the inflows of multitudes into this church. Let the Lord hear your voice tonight. Give God thanks. He deserves the thanks. Give God praise. He deserves the praise. Give God uh, the adoration that you do him as we come with a heart of gratitude tonight. Saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for diverse miracles, signs and wonders in our midst that has resulted in the influence of multitudes into this church. Give God thanks. Uh, give God thanks. Uh, give God thanks. Uh, let the Lord Hear your voice of gratitude tonight. Uh, say, and out of them shall proceed. Thanksgiving. Give God thanks. Our God, he deserves the thanks. Our God, he deserves the praise. Our God, he deserves the adoration. Let the Lord hear your gratitude tonight. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for diverse miracles, signs, and wonders. Enemies that have resulted in the influence of multitudes into this church, that have resulted to the influence of multitudes into this church, and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. We have come tonight uh, with the heart of thanksgiving. Let the Lord uh, hear you tonight. Let the Lord uh, hear you tonight. Uh, expressively return uh, the honor to Him. Expressively return. Uh, the gratitude to him. Let the Lord hear you tonight. Father, we give you thanks. We return all the glory and honor to your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Please put your hands up to the Lord and have your seats in God's presence. Obey, rising next to pray, saying, Father, let every barrier on the path of this church in realization of the minimum double the attendance before the end of June 2024 be crushed. In Isaiah chapter 45, verse 1 to 3, paraphrase, said, Thus said the Lord to his anointed to subdue nations before him, and said, I will lose the loins of kings, and I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight, and I will break in pieces the gate of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron, that thou mayest know that I am the Lord. Please. Join me tonight and rise on your feet as we begin to engage. Saying, Father, let every barrier on the part of this church in the full realization of the minimum double 
the attendance before the end of June 2024 be crushed. Lift up your voice tonight and let the Lord hear your voice of intercession as you pray. Heartily, our Father, we are praying that you that every barrier on the part of this church in the full realization of the minimum double, the attendance before the end of June 2024 be crushed in the name of Jesus. This is a heart cry tonight. Someone is praying, engaging his heart in this intercession. Pray fervently. Pray passionately. Pray this one-line prayer that the Lord must hear. That the full realization of the minimum double, the attendance before the end of June 2024, be realized in the name of Jesus as the Lord begin to crush all satanic gang up, all demonic gang up. Are you praying tonight that the Lord will crush every barrier? They could be demonic barriers. They could be human deception. Ask that the Lord will crush them. The Lord will subdue them in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying tonight. Let the Lord hear your voice of intercession. Pray passionately. Pray fervently. Pray confidently, our Father. This is a heart cry that let every barrier on the part of this church in the realization of the minimum double, the attendance before the end of June 24, even be crushed in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is engaging his heart in this intercession. Remember the word of the Lord that says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now pray heartily tonight that the gates of hell will not prevail against the minimum double agenda before June 24 in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is still praying. Ensure the Lord is hearing your voice of intercession right now. You can pray in understanding. You can equally pray in the language of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God, let every barrier on the part of this church in the realization of the minimum double the attendance before the end of June 2024 be crushed in the name of Jesus Christ. Is the Lord still hearing your voice of intercession? Remember, he said he will subdue nation. Anyone that needs to go down for this agenda to be fully realized, let it be done. That's your prayer tonight. And that's my prayer. Now, somebody is still praying. You are still praying in the name of Jesus Christ. He has said he will make the crooked places straight. Someone is engaging right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That such every crooked man, everyone on the path of this church be crushed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice some more. Let the Lord hear your voice of intercession. Pray heartily. Pray confidently. Pray this one-line prayer. Pray passionately tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember that every unruly man, every vain talker, every deceiver is that the Lord whose mouth must be stop. Everyone that we standing on the path of this church to the full realization of the attendance of this church to be minimum double, on or before June 2024, we are saying they should be crushed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, lift up your hands, lift up your voice, and begin to appreciate him again. Give him glory, give him honor, because it is done in Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Please be seated, give Jesus a big hand of praise. Next, we are rising to pray. And this time we are saying, Father, cause your acts in this church to be noise abroad, resulting in the multiplication of disciples of Christ in this church before the end of the first half of the year. It's stronger and louder. Amen. Acts chapter 2, verse 6 and 41 abridged. Now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and we are confounded, and they that gladly received the word were baptized, and the same day we added unto them about 3,000 souls. Shall we please rise as we raise our voices tonight, saying, Father, cause your acts in this church to be noised abroad, 
resulting in the multiplication of disciples of Christ in this church before the end of the first half of the year. Someone raise your voice. As we engage tonight, we are praying with the whole of our heart. We are praying with fervency of spirit. We are praying with all intensity. We are praying with focus and purpose. We are demanding that the acts of the Lord in this church be noise abroad, resulting in the multiplication of disciples of Christ in this church before the end of the first half of the year. Someone raise your voice and show your praying tonight. Engaging with the whole of your heart. Engaging in faith. We are making that demand on the Father. Saying, our Father, cause your acts in this church to be noise abroad. Resulting in the multiplication of disciples of Christ in this church before the end of the first half of the year. Someone raise your voice. Ensure you're engaging tonight. Ensure you're praying with fervency of heart. Ensure you're praying full of faith and confidence in our God. Raise your voices, everyone, everywhere, as we make this demand on the Lord tonight. Let your acts in this church be noise abroad. Your strange acts in this church, let it be noise abroad. Your strange works in this church, let it be noise abroad. When the heart of the healing of Aeneas, two nations, two cities, they turned unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus the Christ, let your acts be noise abroad. Someone raise your voice and show your engagement tonight. We are praying with intensity. We are praying with all intentionality in the name of Jesus the Christ. Your acts in this church shall not be silent. Your acts in this church, let it be noise abroad. Someone raise your voice and show you are making the demand tonight. You are praying in your understanding. You are praying also in the spirit. In the name of Jesus the Christ, the life transforming impact of your word. Let there be noise abroad. The apostolic order of healings, deliverances, and miracles that we experience over and again in our services. Let there be noise abroad, resulting in the multiplication of disciples of Christ in this church before the end of the first half of the year. Someone engage some more. You are praying in the spirit. You are praying in your understanding. You are demanding of the Father that the forces of the spirit will noise abroad. We announce his acts in this church across the nations of the earth. Now engage in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the spirit. In the name of Jesus the Christ. So I want pray some more and get the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus the Christ. Cause your acts in this church to be noise abroad. A roto mini abanande, a sefre keta, a ria di zeko, a kebarate nia neneto, meriaga satanea, ye keroto sosia. Wave your hands to him, give him all the glory, give him all the honor. And all of the praise in Jesus' precious name we are praying. Please give the Lord a big clap of praise and be seated. Next to be rising to pray. We are saying, Father, let the ears of every unsaved soul across our territory hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit and be drafted to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. Isaiah chapter 5 at verse 26. And he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far. And he will hear unto them from the end of the earth. And behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. Let's rise with me tonight as we place a demand. We are saying together, Father, let the ears of every unsaved soul in our territory hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit and be drafted to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. We are demanding tonight that the ears of every unsaved soul in our territory 
across our neighborhood, hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit, and be drafted to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. Lift up your voice and pray tonight this one-line prayer that must be answered. Pray passionately from the depths of your heart. We are praying together, saying, Father, let the ears of every unsaved soul in our territory hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit and be drafted to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. Every unsaved soul across our harvest field in our territory, let their ears hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit. Whatever is blocking their ears and mind to the voice of the Spirit, tonight we declare those ears opened in the name of Jesus. Our Father, let the ears of every unsaved soul in our territory, in our neighborhood, across our harvest field, hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit and be drafted to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. Our Father, lift up your voice and hiss unto them from the ends of the earth and let them come with speed swiftly in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice tonight and pray believing. We are praying together saying, Father, let the ears of every unsaved soul in our territory hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit and be drafted to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. Every unsaved soul in our territory, young and old, male and female, cause their ears tonight to hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit and be drafted to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. No unsafe soul across our harvest field, in our territory, in our neighborhood, we pretend not to hear because the sound of the Holy Ghost will be speaking loudly, compelling them to come to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. That's our prayer line tonight. Lift up your voice. Pray passionately. Pray believing. Pray from the depth of your heart. We are saying together, Father, let the ears of every unsaved soul in our territory hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit and be drafted to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. Nothing will stop their ears because the sound of God will be blown across our harvest field, across our territory, across our neighborhood, drafting multitudes into this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. Lift up your voice if you can. Pray in the language of the Spirit. Lanto making an answer. Our Father, let the ears of every unsaved soul in our territory hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit. E mantalianda, e moshanta kamananta, e breketele suserianda. Let the ears of every unsaved soul in our territory hear the compelling sound of the Holy Spirit and be drafted to this church all through Operation Rescue 2024. Lift up your hands. God has heard us. Father, we are grateful. In Jesus' holy name, we are praying. Put your hands together for Jesus as we celebrate him in praise.
our hands together for Jesus as we get seated in his presence. Again, we shall rise to pray, saying, Father, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Your amen can be stronger. Matthew 13, 39, the enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. In that scriptural light, let's be on our feet as we begin to pray. Saying, Father, we decree the release of reaper angels to fully, to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Father, we decree the release of reaper angels to engage fully in the execution process of Operation Rescue 2024. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Lift up your voices. Ensure you are engaging wholeheartedly. Ensure you are engaging tenaciously. Ensure you are praying it intensely. Saying, Father, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Father, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Lift up your voices. Pray it aloud. Engage with the whole of your being. Engage it with passion and with faith in your heart. Saying, Father, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Let your voice be heard in heaven and let your heart be engaged. Saying, Father, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Lift up your voices and let your heart be fully engaged. Saying, Father, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Let your voice be heard in heaven. Ensure that your mind is put to it. Ensure that your faith is activated in making this decree tonight. Saying, Father, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Father, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. Lift up your voices. Pray it passionately. Pray it wholeheartedly. Pray it with faith. Saying, Father, we decree the release of Reaper Angels to engage fully in the execution process of the Operation Rescue 2024. You will do well to also pray it in your understanding and pray it in the Holy Ghost also. Push it to the finish line in your understanding and even in the Holy Ghost. Meninosa. Breton and Ozelika Tirepa, Menino Supakatosa, lift up your hands, give him thanks, and give him the praise. Father, we appreciate you. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Put your hands together for his glory as you get seated.
shortly we'll be rising up again as we pray in this manner. Father, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to see this church as their spiritual home. A louder amen. Genesis 28 and verse 16. And Jacob awake out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. Please, let's rise. Together, let's pray. Father, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to see this church as their spiritual home. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice, everyone, and let's go before the Lord with the whole of our heart tonight, asking him, Almighty God, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to see this church as their spiritual home. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to see this church as their spiritual home. In the name of Jesus, pray with the whole of your heart tonight. Lift up your voice and gave with all fervency. Together, let's press on this demand tonight. Let's press on this demand tonight. Let's ask the Lord to open the eyes of the understanding of all our new converts to see this church as their spiritual home. We are all their needs will be met. Let's pray tonight. Let's pray tonight. Let's pray tonight. Father, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to see this church as their spiritual home. In the name of Jesus Christ, make sure the Lord is hearing your voice tonight. Make sure the Lord is hearing your own voice tonight. Let your voice be registered in heaven. Pray with all fervency tonight. Pray with all fervency tonight. Almighty God, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts in the name of Jesus Christ so they can see this church as their spiritual home. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it be our God and our King that the eyes of understanding of all our new converts shall be open supernaturally to see this church as their spiritual home. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them see this church as their spiritual home. We are all their needs shall be met by the power of the Almighty God. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray this prayer with all fervency. Pray this prayer with all fervency. Let the eyes of understanding of all our new converts be open to see this church as their spiritual home. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them find answers to all issues of their lives. In the name of Jesus, pray this prayer tonight. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let them see this job. We are God, we meet all their needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is our heart cry tonight, Almighty God. Hear us and hearken unto us by opening the eyes of understanding of all our new converts to see this church as their spiritual home in the name of Jesus. Make sure God is hearing you tonight. Make sure the Lord is hearing you tonight. Pray this prayer with all fervency. Pray with all seriousness. This prayer is very important. Pray it tonight. Pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. Ask the Lord, open the eyes of understanding of all our new converts so they can see this church as their spiritual home. In the name of Jesus Christ, all the answers to the questions of their lives are located in this church. Lord, cause their eyes to be open so they can see it. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter what the issue is, the answer is here by the mighty hand of the Lord. Father, we ask of you, open their eyes to see it in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray this prayer with the whole of your heart. Pray this prayer with the whole of your heart. Jesus, this is our heart cry tonight. Hear us and hearken unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hand. Give him thanks. It's a prayer hands to God. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' great name, we have prayed. Put those hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Next one, rise. We'll be praying, saying, Father, 
Let every barrier standing in the way of the return of any challenged winner to this church be brought down this prophetic season. Psalm 24 and verse 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Please let's rise together as we pray, saying, Father, let every barrier standing in the way of the return of any challenged winner to this church be brought down in this prophetic season. Lift up your voice, everyone tonight. Let's pray with faith. Let's pray with confidence. Our Father, let every barrier, every barrier, and every obstacle on the way of the return of any challenged winner, let such barriers be taken off the way. Let such obstacles be cleared off the way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lift up your voice, everyone, tonight. We are praying with authority. We are praying with confidence. We are praying with boldness. Our Father and our God, let every barrier standing in the way of the return of any challenge winner to this church, let such barriers be brought down in this prophetic season. Let such obstacles be cleared of the path in this prophetic season. Let such barriers give way in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice, everyone, tonight. Let's pray with boldness and with confidence. Everyone standing strong on the prayer altar tonight. Our Father and our God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let every barrier standing in the way of the return of any challenged winner, any embattled winner, any discouraged winner, let every obstacle, every barrier standing in the way of the return, the massive return of challenged winners, let such be cleared off in this prophetic season. Let such obstacles be leveled out in this prophetic season. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lift up your voice. Everyone pray tonight. Engage your heart. Engage your faith. We see massive return of discouraged and embattled winners, challenged winners in this prophetic season. In the course of Operation Rescue, they are returning back to this church. They are returning back to the kingdom. Lift up your voice. Everyone pray tonight. Engage your heart. Engage your faith. Ensure your voice is heard. You are lifting up your voice loud and clear tonight. Our Father, let every barrier and obstacle stand in the way of the return of any challenge winner, male or female, whether young or old, let every obstacle on the path of the return of any challenge winner, let such obstacle be cleared of the path, let such barrier give way in this prophetic season. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lift up your voice. We are praying massive return of challenge winner back to this church in this prophetic season. They are coming, they are coming, they are coming in their numbers. Massive return, massive return of challenge winners, discouraged winners, and battled winners. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lift up your voice. Someone pray some more tonight. You are engaging with passion. You are engaging with faith. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every barrier, every obstacle on the way of the return of any challenge winner, such barriers are brought down. Such obstacles are cleared off. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, massive recovery, massive return of challenge winner in the cause of Operation Rescue. They are coming back to the faith. They are coming back to this church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now let's begin to thank him with the same intensity. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him thanks. There's a massive return of challenge winners back to this church uh, in the course of this prophetic season. Let's appreciate him tonight. Our Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please give Jesus a big hand and be seated.
moment, we shall be rising to pray, saying, Father, let the zeal of the Lord consume all our new converts so they can continue to identify with Christ openly, thereby bringing many others to Christ. Romans chapter 1, verse 16, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Please rise tonight as we pray together, saying, Father, let the zeal of the Lord consume all our new converts. Let the zeal of the Lord consume all our new converts so they can continue to identify with Christ openly, thereby bringing many others to Christ. Lift your voice tonight and pray this prayer passionately. Pray intensely. Pray with fervency, saying, Father, let the zeal of the Lord consume all our new converts. Let the zeal of the Lord consume all of our new converts so they can continue to identify with Christ openly, thereby bringing many others to Christ. Someone lift your voice. Don't mutter words tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray intensely in the spirit. Pray fervently in your understanding. Engage with faith tonight. Saying, Father, let the zeal of the Lord, let the zeal of the Lord consume all our new converts. Let the zeal of the Lord consume all our new converts so they can continue to identify with Christ openly, thereby bringing many others to Christ. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. Let's place a demand on the word tonight. Let's engage in the name of Jesus. Let's pray with zeal and passion, saying, Father, let the zeal of the Lord consume all our new converts so they can continue to identify with Christ openly, thereby bringing many others to Christ. You can pray that prayer in the Holy Ghost. You can pray in your understanding tonight. Ensure that your voice resonates in heaven. Saying, Father, let the zeal of the Lord consume all our new converts. Let the zeal of the Lord consume all of our new converts so they can continue to identify with Christ openly, thereby bringing many others to Christ. Let them identify with Christ openly in their neighborhood, in their offices, in their business places, openly, thereby bringing many others to Christ. Lift your voice tonight. Don't mutter words. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with fervency. Pray with faith tonight. If you can't pray in the Holy Ghost, La Crocilia Tana, Jeket Ambrolozo de Predia, Ratin da Rose Keteli Branis Apaya, Eco Tozila Paneste Leketeri, Libra Cana Zotania, Le Cruza Panate Shataligaba, Ratozinia, let the zeal of the Lord consume all of our newcomers let them be consumed by the zeal of the lord so they can continue to identify with christ openly thereby bringing many others to christ zelo prante li kataya rako zaketa manasto breteli rebishatala lift your hands tonight let's magnify him he has heard us he has answered us our father we thank you we celebrate your name we glorify you for hearing us in jesus mighty name we pray please remain standing as we celebrate him I prayed and I prayed, Lord Jesus answered me. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed and I prayed, Jehovah answered me. It is well with my 
soon. I pray and I pray. I pray, and I pray Lord Jesus. Jehovah I said I pray. I pray. He answered. I pray. I pray. Celebrate Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Hey, somebody call him a woman, he can't be Somebody call him a woman, he can't be Somebody call it. Somebody call it. Territory taking God. Somebody call him a Bubedike. Jehovah Jireh, a Bubedike. Somebody call him a Bubedike. Ocean Divider, a Bubedike. Somebody call him. Somebody call him. Celebrate the King. The King of Kings. Somebody call him. Somebody call him a Let's take our seat.
We continue our intercession this evening. When we rise, we will pray those. Say, Father, let the mighty wind of the Holy Ghost continue to draft abiding multitude into all our services, all through option rescue 2024. Numbers 11, 31, and they all went forth in wind from the Lord and brought quails from the sea. And let them fall by the camp as it were it is journey on this side, and as it were it is journey on the other side, round about the camp, and as it were two cubit high upon the face of the earth. Please let's rise on our feet. Let's lift prayer. Let's say, Father, let the mighty wind of the Holy Ghost continue to draft abiding multitudes into all our services, all true operation rescue 2024. Lift your voice and begin to pray, saying, Father, let the mighty wind of the Holy Ghost continue to draft abiding multitude into all our services, all true operation rescue 2024. Lift your voice and pray. You are praying a prayer of faith. You are not accommodating any doubt. Therefore, pray with confidence because you are praying according to his will. Lift your voice and be heard in heaven. Remember, you have not prayed unless you are heard. Lift your voice and be heard. Father, let the mighty wind of the Holy Ghost continue to draft abiding multitude into all our services. All true Operation Rescue 2024, lift your voice and pray. We are asking the Father to again release the mighty wind of the Holy Ghost. He did it for the church in the wilderness. He did it at Pentecost. And he did it beginning from 2015. We saw the rushing mighty wind. And it's the same God. He has not changed Therefore, lift your voice and ask him to do it again. Let the mighty wind of the Holy Ghost continue to draft a abiding multitude into all our services. All true operation 2024. He said, I am the Lord, I change Lord. The same yesterday, today, and forever. The things he has done before, the same he will yet do. Lift your voice and pray. Press it intensely. Father, we are saying in the name of Jesus, let the mighty wind of the Holy Ghost continue to draft abiding multitude into all our services. All true Operation Rescue 2024. Lift your voice. Let the wind of the Spirit uproot the root of deception and spiritual blindness, thereby causing abiding multitude into all our services all through operation rescue 2024 lift your voice and be heard father in the name of jesus let the mighty wind of the holy ghost the very moving wind the wind that can cancel every spiritual blindness father let that same wind blow and draft a binding multitude into all our services. All true operation rescue 2024. You can draft it home in the language of the spirit. Shekrandola kapetutitia kaposi. Yabrambolate katulia gaposilia. Igu kitalidia gamproke falurisi. Ratalige rakatuge babalia sonto. Ikrua baselia retelia gateku baruba. Father, let the mighty wind of the Holy Ghost continue to draft a the multitude into all our services all through this operation. Rescue 2024. And blessed be thy holy name. We know the wind is blowing already. Thank you, mighty God. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Make that amen louder and put your hand together as you take your seat. Next, we shall be praying, saying, Father, continue to send us your word of eternal life in all our services that we establish all our new converts in the faith and in this church for life. 
John chapter 6, verse 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the word of eternal life. Shall we rise on our feet with confidence and faith in our heart this night? Let's say to him, Father, continue to send us your word of eternal life in all our services that we establish all our new converts in the faith and in this church for life. Is someone praying that prayer with me tonight? Lift your voice and pray a prayer that must be answered. Call unto him right now. Call unto him in faith and in confidence tonight, saying, Father, continue to send us your word of eternal life in all our services that we establish all our new converts in the faith and in this church for life. Continue to send us your word of eternal life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your word that we established our new converts keep coming to us this season and beyond in the name of Jesus. Is someone praying that prayer tonight? Pray. Lord, continue to send your word of eternal life to us in all our services, including covenant hour of prayer. Keep sending the word of eternal life to us in our midweek services. Keep sending your word of eternal life to us in our Sunday services. Lord, keep sending your word of eternal life. In our WSF, keep sending your word of eternal life. Is someone praying that prayer with me tonight? Lift your voice and pray with faith in your heart. Let's be committed to this prayer tonight. We are saying to him, Father, continue to send us your word of eternal life in all our services that we establish all our new converts in the faith and in this church for life. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Don't watch, don't mutter what tonight. Pray in faith. Pray with confidence tonight. He said, ask, I will answer. Is someone asking him right now? Father, continue to send your word of eternal life in all our services that we establish all our new converts in the faith and in this church for life. Speak to him right now with all your heart, with faith. Call unto him right now. Father, continue to send us, oh God, your word of eternal life in all our services that we establish our new converts in the faith and in this church. So mightily grew the world and prevail. Lord, keep sending, keep sending, keep sending your word of eternal life to us in all our services. Oh God, this is our heartfelt prayer tonight. This is our heartfelt prayer tonight. Hey, someone praying. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Lift your voice and pray to him right now. Call on to him right now. Say to him, Father, continue to send us your word of eternal life in all our services that we establish our new convert in faith and in this church so they'll be able to take root downward and bear fruit upward in this church in the name of Jesus Father continue 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 to send us your word of eternal life in all our services that we establish all our new converts in the faith and in this church for life you can press that prayer in the Holy Ghost right now le paria ketab ne keria ketab braliano sozia ketaya ne ria ketale bralaka zosiano ragadaliano zesa pray in the holy ghost pray your understanding make sure your heart is connected in this prayer ne tabariano ye ketage sozia rea tale braliato zaria ne kagarialo ye paraka talia gesasi ne ria ketala braliato ragadaliano zesia ketea re marua baria keta begin to thank him he has answered us again father we thank you again tonight Blessed be your name. Wave your hands to him and celebrate him. To him alone be all the glory forever. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. Again, we shall be rising tonight to pray. And what we do, we are saying, Father, stir up the zeal of every member of this church to engage in kingdom advancement and endeavors, resulting 
in the supernatural multiplication of this church. A stronger amen. Luke 14, 23, and the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and edges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Shall we rise to our feet, lift our voice and say, Father, stir up the zeal of every member of this church to engage in kingdom advancement and divorce resulting in the supernatural multiplication of this church. Let's lift our voice and pray some more. We are not tired. We are strong. We are praying with fervency of spirit. We are praying with passion. We are asking the Father in the mighty name of Jesus to stir up the zeal of every member of this church to engage in kingdom advancement and divorce, resulting in the supernatural multiplication of this church. Lift your voice, everybody, and let's pray everyone everywhere. We are praying. We are calling on the name of the Lord tonight. He said we should call and we answer. As we call, he will answer us. So let's lift our voice and call upon him and say, Father, stir up the zeal of every member of this church. Stir up the zeal of every one member of this church. You are praying also for yourself, uh, including you. You are saying, Lord, uh, stir up the zeal uh, of every member of this church to engage uh, in kingdom advancement and divorce, uh, resulting in the supernatural multiplication of this church. Uh, our God and our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, stir up the zeal uh, of every member of this church to engage in kingdom advancement and divorce resulting in supernatural multiplication of this church. Lift your voice and let's pray with faith in our heart. We are praying the prayer that must be answered. Therefore, let's pray with expectation tonight. You are praying answer, expectant prayer. You are not just praying, but you are calling on God with a strong believer, knowing that he will surely do it. As we are calling, we are strong in faith that he will surely answer us. So lift your voice, no silent prayer, pray with faith, call on the Lord, pray in the name of Jesus, ask the Father to stir up the zeal of every member of this church to engage in kingdom advancement and divorce, resulting in the supernatural multiplication of this church. This is our desire, this is our expectation, this is what we are calling on our God to do because we know he can do it. And as we are crying right now, he's hearing us and he's doing it. We are seeing it happening, we are seeing this church explode loading in number even as he has said as we are calling oh God that you will stir up the zeal of every one member of this church to engage in kingdom advancement and divorce resulting in the supernatural multiplication of this church according to that which the Lord has spoken so shall we say so let's engage with passion tonight cry your heart out unto the Lord. Uh, you are speaking unto your Father. You are praying with confidence in your God. Uh, know fully well that he has can do what we are asking him to do. He has the capacity, so let's call on him. He said, call upon me and I will answer you. He said, ask of me and I will give you. So we are calling, we are asking, we are demanding on the altar of prayer tonight. Oh, Father, stir up the zeal of every member of this church to engage in kingdom advancement and divorce resulting in the supernatural multiplication of this church. And if you can, you can pray in the language of the Spirit as well as we press this demand to finish line tonight. Oh God, man to paraska to sapataya, a paketenda, rasubre de duanta la gadaga, a kepentopate bracando le kepatosia, a punda linda dum badunda se copanta la gadaga, a pocatasco pragadia. Somebody say pray, pray some more. Let God hear your voice. It's answering us as we are calling, it's doing it for us. We we see it happening. We see it taking place. Oh God. Now lift your hands and give him thanks because he has had us. Father, we are grateful. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please celebrate Jesus and be seated.
next we shall be rising up to pray, saying, Father, endure the leadership of this church at all levels with wisdom from above, resulting in the supernatural growth of every assembly all through Operation Rescue 2024. Can we make it stronger? Amen. Isaiah 33, 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. With strength, please rise upon your feet, lift up your voice as soldiers of Christ. Let's begin to pray this prayer right now. Pray with faith in your heart. Remember, no silent prayer. We are still laboring right now in the labor room of prayer. And our prayer line is, Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ, and do the leadership of this church at all levels with wisdom from above. Wisdom from above resulting in the supernatural growth of every assembly all through Operation Rescue 2024. Pray with passion. Pray with faith in your heart. Maintain focus at this time. Let heaven hear you. Pray aloud. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Remember, we are praying the prayer that God must answer even now. Saying, Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ, and do the leadership of this church at all levels with wisdom from above. The wisdom that is from above, the wisdom that is pure, the wisdom that produces resolve. Lord, in the name of Jesus the Christ, and do the leadership of this church at all levels. Leadership of this church at all levels with wisdom from above. Bring it about the supernatural growth of every assembly all through Operation Rescue 2024. In the name of Jesus the Christ, someone is praying. Lift up your voice, saints of God. Don't look around. Maintain focus. Pray with passion. Pray with faith in your heart. We are praying the prayer that God must answer even now. Same Father. In the name of Jesus the Christ, and do the leadership of this church at all levels with wisdom from above, the wisdom that is above all, the wisdom that produces result, the wisdom that comes from above, bringing about the supernatural growth of every assembly all through the ongoing Operation Rescue 2024. Now begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Nemaro bakata daya makorida. Ala mamora bakosheria. Ala gotapa. Ebro babala kata dayama. Orima malaga tadara layaba. Aka katuta. Adi babora makadara laya mako. Edo baro makoshara. Someone is praying right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. He's our helper. Perfect your prayer right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost as you perfect your prayer. Enina Mokato, Ebro Babalaya, Ako Kasata, Edalaya, Amora Bakoria, Ekakoza, Elibaborama, Alikatodaya, Agagato. Begin to thank God right now. If you have prayed, God has answered. Thank Him profusely. Enima Roba Koshara. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Somebody is thanking the Lord. Thank him some more. Don't keep quiet. Lift up your hands. Glorify the name of the Lord. Give him praise and glory. Thank him. Thank him some more. Father, we give you thanks for answer prayers even now. It is done. For answer prayers, give the Lord a big clap offering. And now, let us praise him. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You were marvelous, yeah. You were marvelous, yeah. You were marvelous, yeah. You were marvelous, God. You were marvelous, God. You were marvelous, God. You were marvelous, 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 You are glorious, yeah. 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 You are glorious, yeah.
Wonderful, wonderful. You are wonderful, yeah. you are wonderful God. You are wonderful, yeah. Yeah. You are wonderful, yeah. 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 Oh, you are wonderful, yeah. You are wonderful, yeah. You are wonderful, yeah. Wonderful God, God alone is worthy to be praised. You're the miracle in my life today. Wonderful God, God alone, God. hey, God alone, you are wonderful. You're the in my life marvelous, 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 God. hey. God alone is worthy to be praised. You're the miracle in my life. Oh, glorious God, glorious God. Wonderful God, we give you praise. Chimle, 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 chimle. We give you praise. Chimle, chimle. together for Jesus, and please be comfortably seated. Amen. In this service tonight is testimony time. Please joyfully listen to these testimonies, and you are returning with your own in the name of Jesus Christ. Number one, kingdom-focused prayers, a catalyst for answered prayer. Amen. Before our prayer and fasting started, the bishop admonished us on the need for adequate preparation and encouraged that everyone repositioned himself to meet with the Lord. He further instructed us to get a prayer workbook to keep records of our engagements as the Holy Spirit will be ministering to us in the course of our engagement. During one of the evening communion services, the bishop also taught us to ensure we engage in pray kingdom focused prayers for minimum one hour that night. With my family in obedience to that instruction, I pray for about one hour, 30 minutes, interceding for the kingdom without mentioning our names. When I got to the office the next day, my boss changed my official car 
I had previously been appealing to him to change for the past three years. Also, God gave me financial favor. The very next morning, as we returned from the covenant hour of prayer, the family of my landlord called me and told me that they have found me faithful. So their family had agreed that I should not pay rent for the whole year. Celebrate Jesus. Indeed, kingdom-focused prayers are real. I give all the glory to the God of my father and prophet, Bishop David Oyedepo. The testifier is Edna Ude. Celebrate Jesus tonight. <laughs> Number two, supernatural breakthroughs. I joined this commission with my family when things were almost at stand. However, I refused to give up. When Wonder Double Agenda was declared, I decided to reposition myself and dived into it. I engaged the prayer altar for the salvation of souls and the advancement of the kingdom of God. And for the first time in a couple of years, things began to change. From then on, I began to experience supernatural turnaround in my finances. The debt that was choking me was cancelled. Accommodation issue was resolved. And numerous doors of, of, and numerous doors of increase were opened to me. Celebrate Jesus. My wife, who, are, who had respiratory issues for about two decades and couldn't go for two days without medication, was miraculously healed. All this happened because we keyed into Matthew 6.33. My household now engages in daily prayers for souls and for the church. I give all the glory to the God of wonder double that performs whatever he says. The testifier is Uchena Anikwe. Who is the doer of these wonders? We join our hands tonight. Shall we rise to our faith and put our hands together for Jesus? Make it louder. Make it bigger for King of Kings. And for the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we lift our hands to heaven tonight and let's give glory to God. Appreciating him one more time for all of the answers he has given to all the prayers that we have offered tonight. We have not just prayed into storage but God has heard us. And give him very specific answers to every prayer we have uttered. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him thanks. For this is the confidence that we have. That when we ask anything according to his word, he hears us. Everything we have asked is according to his word. So everything has been heard. Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you praise. And Lord, we give you glory. Thank him also for the testimonies that we have heard again tonight. These are the doings of the Lord. And they are marvelous in our eyes. Lord Jesus, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Now let's ask him to speak to us tonight. Lord, send your word again. One word is sufficient to change any story. Lord, send your word again. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Lord Jesus, tonight we have come to thank you. For the privilege, the honor, and the opportunity you have given to us to be gathered at your feet. For all of the answers to prayer, we say thank you. For the testimonies of your hand that work in our midst, we say thank you. And now tonight our eyes are upon you. Speak to us again tonight. By your word, let every one of our lives be changed supernaturally. We thank you because we know you have done it. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud amen. Give Jesus a big hand of praise and please, you may be seated in his presence. Praise God, fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations, amen and amen. We began looking at this line of exhortations on Monday. That is captioned, supernatural church growth is impossible without the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Supernatural church growth is impossible without the ministry of the of the Holy Spirit. We have come to realize that God declared to us his agenda very clearly for this year. 
And that is double our 2023 attendance by the end of June 2024. The agenda of God is clear. And Isaiah 14, 24 tells us, he says, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. As I have proposed, so shall it stand. So whatever God says is beyond negotiation. If he has said it, then he is set to perform it. And we discover from scriptures that the hand of God is what performs every plan of God. 1 Kings 8 and verse 15, that which you speak with your mouth unto David my father, with your own hand you have performed it. And when it comes to the growing and the building of the church, the Holy Spirit is the agent, is the personality behind the growth and the building of the church. In fact, the Bible makes us to understand that he is the Lord of the harvest. In the book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse, 20, verse 38, it says, Matthew 9, 38, it says, Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, and he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Who is this Lord of the harvest? It's the Holy Ghost. When he came down on the day of Pentecost, we began to see the explosion and the eruption of the church. Remember Jesus said, Tarry in Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. You can't be my laborer until the Lord of the heavens has come on the scene to put you on the go. So the Lord of the harvest is the Holy Ghost himself. And that is why you cannot talk about the growth of the church without talking about the Holy Spirit. But we discover that the steering rod for the Holy Spirit is prayer. If we are going to engage the ministry of the Holy Spirit, we must engage the platform of prayer. Luke chapter 11 and verse 13, Jesus speaking, he said to us there, he said that if you being evil now to give good gifts to your children, he said, how much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? So the Holy Spirit is engaged through the platform of prayer. And that should be no surprise because when we look at scriptures in the book of Acts of the Apostles, we discover that before the Holy Ghost came, they instigated his arrival through prayer. Acts chapter 1 and verse 14, he says that they were together in one accord and they were praying. And in chapter 2, beginning from verse 1, the Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost. They kept praying in one accord and the Holy Ghost came. In chapter 4 again, the Bible said they prayed. And after they had prayed, the place where they were was shaken and they were again filled with the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Spirit is always steered into action or into operation through our prayers. Through our prayers. And we discover that it is when we engage the altar of prayer that we begin to see the manifestations of the various ministries and operations of the Holy Ghost taking place in our midst. That's why what we are doing now is so vital. What are we doing among other things? We're engaging the ministry of the Holy Ghost, the one who is the Lord of the harvest, to take charge of the harvest field. And when he does, he brings to pass what God has spoken. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. I said, somebody believe, say loud, amen. Now, all through we have been looking at certain examples of the operation of the Holy Spirit as far as the building of the church is concerned, the growth of the church is concerned. And tonight we are going to look at the example of Philip. Through the move of the Spirit in the ministry of Philip, the whole city of Samaria turned to the Lord. We have that account in the book of Acts chapter 8, verse 5 down to verse 8. Let's look at what the scripture shows us here. It said, And Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the Bible says, And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip speak, hearing and seeing the miracles that he did. And the Bible tells us, he says, For unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and they that were lame were healed. And verse 8, And there was great joy in the city. Philip went to Samaria and preached Christ unto them, and all of them with one accord gave heed unto him. The entire city routed through the ministry of the Holy Ghost on 
this man called Philip. So it's important for us to understand that there is no territory that cannot be taken when the Holy Spirit is at work. The Holy Spirit at work with one man, Philip, took over Samaria. That means the Holy Spirit at work with you and with me can take over any community. Wherever we find ourselves, it can take charge of the entire environment. And that will be our experience in this operation rescue in the name of Jesus. Wherever we go, by the ministry of the Holy Ghost, the community will give heed to us. Everywhere we go, they will pay attention to us. Everywhere we go, they will respond to the gospel in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we discover that one of the vital things that the Holy Spirit does in bringing about the harvest is that the Holy Spirit is the eye opener. He is the eye opener that drafts the unsaved into the kingdom. He is the eye opener. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4. The Bible says that whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them who believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto you. So, there is a blindfolding ministry of the devil, but there is an eye-opening ministry of the Holy Spirit. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18, it said, We are with open face, beholding us in a glass. The glory of God, we are changing the same image from glory to glory. How? As by the Spirit of God. So, he's the one that opens the eyes of people. He's the eye-opener. We all know that blind eyes cannot see bright light. It will take the opening of the eyes for the light to have consequence. And that is why the Holy Spirit is there to open the eyes of people so they can see the light of the gospel. He said that the eyes of these people have been blinded so that they are not able to access the glorious light of the gospel of Christ. But when we turn to the Lord, he said, the veil shall be taken away. And who is the Lord? The Lord is that spirit. And wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So the spirit of God is the eye opener. Is the one that causes our eyes to be opened. So that people can see the light of the gospel and be drawn into the kingdom of God. You see, when the spirit of God is at work, he opens the eyes of people without any struggle. Every little statement lands on their heart. Everything that is said makes entrance into their heart because the Spirit of God is at work. That is the operation of the Holy Ghost. He gives us the access to the heart of men by opening the eyes of their understanding. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 and verse 18, the Bible says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. He said, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. So it takes the Holy Spirit to get the eyes of people to be open. When he opens the eyes of people, everything that is said makes entrance into them. But when their eyes are not open, no matter how good the explanation, there will be no effect. That is the power of the operation of the Holy Ghost. He opens their eyes. Shout hallelujah. He opens their eyes. I remember I read this story years ago about Charles Spurgeon. He was going to go and minister somewhere. And he got to the place to go and do a sound check just to check how the sound would be in that place. And as he stood there, he just made a statement. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Just checking the sound. But there was a man that was walking. A, 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 you know, a laborer. As soon as he heard it, he put down his tools, went home and sat down. And the Holy Spirit opened his eyes to those words. Until suddenly, he gave his life to Christ on his own without anybody there. Why? The eyes were open. When the eyes are open, even what we say to them does not finish where we say it to them. He continues working on them even after they have left us. So the word keeps tearing their hearts until suddenly they come to Christ. That is the power of the eye-opening ministry of the Holy Ghost. He opens the eyes of the understanding of people. I've shared this story many times. Some years ago, we're going out on outreach and I remember there was this elderly woman 
every time we go out, she will come back with plenty of people on her list. She would have this higher education type of paper. It would be full of names. And I was wondering, where, what is this woman saying? What is she? There must be a secret. So one day I decided to go near her when she was going to minister to some people to hear what she would say. And she got there and began to speak to them. And in a few minutes, she just turned to them and said, so how many of you would like to give your life to Christ? And there were about five or six of them around them, around her. And all of them raised their hand, want to surrender to Christ. Now, the things that she said, naturally speaking, will not look like it will lead anybody to the point of salvation. But you see, when eyes are open, when eyes are open, the struggle is over. That is what the Holy Ghost does. So in this season, we must trust to see the Spirit of God open the eyes of people we come across. So that as we are speaking, the words that we are speaking is not the last that they are hearing. They are, the Holy Spirit is giving them the interpretation that is relevant to them until they come to Christ and into the kingdom. Shout hallelujah. Therefore, as we begin to conclude, take note of this. That we can pray for the Holy Spirit to grant supernatural utterance to our pastors, that will prick the heart of multitudes unto salvation. So we can pray for the Holy Ghost to do that. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 1, the Bible says, pray for us that the word of God may have free course and be glorified as it is with you. So we must ensure that every time we are coming, you pray for every service. Holy Spirit of God, let there be utterance granted in each one of our services. That as the pastors are speaking, the words will be penetrating. Like you did it on the day of Pentecost. There was no altar call in Pentecost. They are the ones who called themselves to the altar. They said, men and brethren, what shall we do? We have heard the word. It has entered our hearts. We can't continue waiting like this. What must we do? And they said, repent and be baptized. And then you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is so important. We must pray for every single service. Pray for the pastors to have utterance. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 19, Paul the apostle speaking, he put it this way. He said, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. So we pray for access for our pastors to have utterance in every service that will prick the hearts of people and bring them unto salvation. As we do so, we shall begin to see unusual harvest. Both in our personal outreaches and in our general services, we'll be seeing souls saved in their droves. They'll be rushing to the kingdom. Every one of them taking cover under the canopy of Christ. And each one of them getting planted and rooted in this church. If you believe it, say it loud, amen. Lift your hand to heaven right now and give thanks to God for his word that you've received tonight. Father, thank you for your word that has come our way tonight. We bless your holy name. You are worthy of all the praise and you are worthy of all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say aloud, amen. Before we go any further tonight, if you are here, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. You have not made him the Lord and the Savior of your life. That's the starting point. There is no beginning point without Christ. Without Christ, crisis continues. Wherever you are right now, you say, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to truly become a child of God. I don't want to fake it. I want to be real with God. Wherever you are, quickly stand on your feet now. I want to pray with you. I want to be born again. I want to become a child of God in truth and in deed. No faking it anymore. No pretenses anymore. I want to get it right. Both here and in all our various locations, please quickly stand on your feet if you are in that condition. Number two, you are here. You say, I want to rededicate my life to Christ. I need to start afresh. I need to have a new beginning. I need to have a brand new start. Wherever you are, you want to rededicate your life to Jesus, quickly also stand on your feet right now. God bless you. 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 Both here and in all the various locations, do that very quickly. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. If you have done that, take a bold step of faith and begin to make your way forward right now. We want to pray together. Quickly begin to make your way forward right now. God bless you. 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 In all our various locations, let's do that very quickly. You'll make your way forward towards the altar as we get set to pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. If you are coming, come quickly as we get set to pray. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Now, for everybody...
who has responded to that call both here and in various locations, please stop filling your form, lift up your hand, your right hand before the Lord, and just pray this prayer after me from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I am a sinner. I cannot help myself, but I know you died for me. On the third day, you rose again to save me. Jesus, come into my life. Take control of me from this day forward. I will follow you, no turning back. I will serve you, no turning back. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Keep your hand lifted. Father, thank you today for these precious people. They have surrendered to Christ according to your command. Now give them grace to keep following after you all the days of their lives and never turn back. Thank you for doing it, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Congratulations. It's a brand new day. Please go after the kingdom officials. They will guide you in filling your form. In all locations, please do the same and you'll be guided accordingly. Shall we rise on our feet, everybody, and let's give Jesus a big hand of praise as we receive our Father to bless us. Hallelujah. Please lift up your two hands, everyone. And together, let's give God thanks for light that has come forth from his world tonight. Give him thanks. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for light from heaven. Take all the praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. It's interesting to know that it's the same Holy Ghost for the called, the uncalled, the apostles, the newest believer, the same Holy Ghost. So we share common spiritual potentials. Its utilization that differs, differentiates one from another. Same. There are 120 in the upper room, including women. Same clothing, tongues of fire were upon each one of them. In the house of Cornelius, they were all new people, just gave their life to Christ as the world was going on. And they received the same Holy Ghost that came down the day of Pentecost. And you have Peter saying, Can we forbid them from him baptizing water? For they have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. They had them speaking in tongues like they did. It's the same. Lord, help me to maximize my spiritual potential. Help me to maximize my spiritual potential. Help me to maximize my spiritual Go ahead and pray. The same Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit. There are devices of operation of the same Spirit. There are different organizations for the same spirit. Lord, help me this time to maximize my spiritual potentials. Help me this time to maximize my spiritual potentials. Help me this time to maximize my spiritual potentials. Pray that prayer, please. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. A number of us have been around the same thing for too long, for too long, for too long, for too long. Help me to maximize my spiritual potentials this time. By the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. It's also important to know that our choice is stronger than the most wicked devil in hell. Our choice. One day you and I chose to make Christ our Lord. The devil was still on duty. Why was he so helpless? I lay before you life and death. Choose life. No devil can stop from making your choice. Choose life. You can't choose to serve him and serve idol. No, you choose to serve him with just hands up. That's how powerful your choice and my choice is. The men of Samaria said Christ will not pass through that place. That was their choice. They couldn't pass through the place. You make your choice in truth. God will supply the grace to make it happen. Now, I'm going to want to make their choice to serve God like never before during this season. It's our extraordinary approach that determines our extraordinary outcome. 
extraordinary approach will determine this extraordinary outcome. Now, go ahead and pray. My choice is to make a difference during this Operation Rescue 2024. Lord, let my spiritual life take a new turn, a new turn, a new turn, a new turn. Holy Spirit, come to my help. Come to my aid tonight. Come to my aid tonight. Holy Spirit, come to my aid tonight. Holy Spirit, come to my aid tonight. Holy Spirit, come to my aid tonight. Let this season be the most adventurous time in my Christian journey. Send me help to maximize this opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. Among the things we are going to expect is explosive favor. What do I call it? Everyone out after God swims in favor. Swims in favor. The time to favor us has come as we take pleasure in the stones of Zion and favor the dust thereof. You can't stand with God molested by the devil. There's going to be a downpour of favor to validate Fortune 2024. The kind of favor you have never heard of or read of will happen in your own life. And the covenant access is just get committed with utmost delight in advancing the kingdom. Psalm 102 and verse 13 to 16. I mean, that glory will be what we are showing Jesus in verse 16. It will appear in his glory. God is out to decorate the church, the end time church, with the kind of glory the world has never known before. No one's place shall be taken by another. Your place shall be well secured. Please don't be a non-looker. Lift up your two hands. And from the last table tonight, receive all it takes to fulfill God's agenda for your life. Jesus said it is finished. He finished it. Paul said I finished my course. He finished it. Jesus, from this coming on table tonight, en engrace me to fulfill the fullness of your agenda for my life. In my journey. Reach out to heaven, everyone. John 19.30, it is finished. Second Timothy 6, I finished my course. I've kept the faith. I partake of the Jesus order of grace to fully accomplish heaven's agenda for my life beginning with this season. Let the stewards please come. Holy Spirit, help me. Paul said, by the help of God, I continue to this day. Our help is the Holy Spirit. Help me to maximize my spiritual potentials in this prophetic season. Help me to accomplish your entire purpose for my adventure on this earth. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. We receive the table of the Lord tonight as the flesh Amen. and the blood of Jesus. Amen. We partake of this to tap into your grace. The grace that fulfills heaven's agenda. Amen. Let every of heaven's agenda concerning each one of us be fully realized. Amen. Let no one's portion be lost. Let the prophetic season be a most memorable one in our lives. Amen. Let it be the best till date in our walk with God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 
Holy Spirit, we are counting on you for all the help we need. Send us the help. Amen. Send us that help now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we have made demand and we believe you for it that by the end of the first half of the year, we have seen your hand deliver your purpose. Amen. Minimum twice the attendance of the church Amen. where we ended with last year. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Sickness is caused. Amen. Disease is caused. Amen. Liberty is established. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every operation of the devil is caused from the roots. Amen. You are now free. Amen. You are now free. Amen. Your night's sleep tonight will be the best ever. Amen. You'll never have to struggle in your sleep anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Again, we receive this as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. As you partake of it, be refreshed, be renewed, and be engraved with Jesus' order of grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please get seated and take your turn as you may be directed while the praise team leads us on in praise. I saw the light, no more darkness, no more night. I am so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness.
Lord, a big hand of praise. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. As the Lord lives before this week is over, everyone shall see brighter. Yeah. According to Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 and 12, what says thou, I saw a rod of an almond tree, thou hast well seen for I will hasten my world to perform it. So the brighter we see, the greater speed we gain. Thou hast well seen, I will hasten. Thou hast well seen, I will hasten. Thou hast well seen, I will hasten. Holy Spirit, and grace me to see brighter. The things you are saying to me at this time, nobody can confuse you about what you have seen. You have seen it, you have seen it. You have seen it, you have seen it. No one yet doubts what he sees. Lord, Holy Spirit, help me to see brighter on what is in kingdom advancement stewardship. Let me see brighter what is in it. Let me see brighter what is in it. Help me to see brighter what is in it. I've seen some bit of it. Help me to see brighter what is in it. Help me to see brighter what is in it. Help me to see brighter what is in it. Help me to see brighter what is in it. Help me to see brighter what is in it. Your healing is there. Your deliverance is there. Your health and vitality is there. Your prosperity is there. Your lifting is there. Favor is there. Everything one will ever need is in it. Lord, help me to see deeper into the things, the treasures hidden in kingdom advancement stewardship. Help me to see deeper. Help me to see further. Show me, Holy Spirit, open it up to me. And he will do it. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. I have an understanding by the Holy Ghost that the year will be one kind of a year. It never lies. Fortune 2024 will speak the loudest in your life. Like play, like play, you find yourself in realms you never imagined. Yeah. By the lifting hand of God, yeah. by the transforming hand of God, yeah. by the story changing hand of God, yeah. as we commit and dedicate ourselves to his agenda, we have committed him to what he said he would do with, with us. So Fortune 2024 begins with my repositioning. In my response to his agenda. It's amazing. Always there. A friend of mine said, Let's be praying for life and I said, I don't need my own is covered by Matthew 33. I mean, I, I, it was fresh to me. So I, my own is covered. But we can pray for you if you want. He said, Let's pray for me. So we pray for him. <laughs> we have friends. There is nothing of value in my life I've ever sought for, sir. They are added. It's the platform for, for humbling additions. Humbling additions. Favor, lifting, honor, glory. They are all in it. You will not miss it anymore. Yeah. May this become a new lifestyle for everyone. Yeah. We are doing the bidding of God becomes your new way of life. Yeah. We are lifting his kingdom becomes your new way of life. Yeah. That shall be our portion. Amen. But as for this year, you are stepping into fortune. Amen. You are stepping into fortune. Amen. 
they call someone and say, okay, you are so faithful. Faithful in doing what? In going to church? Okay, don't pay rent. <laughs> you say that kind of favor? Yeah? <laughs> you didn't complain you don't have money. Don't pay. You just look good. So, uh, favor makes you look good. Anywhere. Now, this year, in the name of Jesus, everybody will see God's hand on your life. For you and your household, it shall be a, an era of fortune. For your children, your grandchildren, an era of fortune. In the name of Jesus. No misfortune will be traceable to any one of us anymore. So shall it be. Next Sunday is a marital covenant day of marital breakthroughs. As the Lord lives, it's part of God's favor package. Every tension in homes shall be doused. Every siege of marital delay shall be busted. People's marital destiny shall be restored. Every spell of the wicked shall be broken. Amen. Every cross, generational cross, on anyone's life shall be broken. Amen. Search for your hands towards here and ask the Lord, confirm your word as people gather. Let every tension in families be doused. Let every seed of matter delay be over. Fulfill your agenda in everyone's life. Let every sweet home be sweeter by the world. Destroy every pressure in everyone's monitor destiny. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Your strength is renewed. Go in the strength of the Almighty God. May the remaining days be awesome days in your life. Amen. Now, today is the ninth. Today marks the end of the 40-day post-resurrection appearance of Christ with undeniable proof. And we still have a few hours more to go. Anything can still happen. Has anybody had any encounter this time? So I have, I've, I've, I've been swimming in diverse encounters. Things I never knew do, do exist because it never lies. In the same vein, everything is said concerning this operation, we speak loud in our lives. Yeah. Now, we mustn't forget to thank him. Thank him for diverse encounters thus far. Granted, men and women, young and old, in this awesome 40 day season, we give you glory and praise. In Jesus' precious name. Give him thanks, everybody. Give him glory. Thank him. And speak to the many days. Speak to the many days. We have tomorrow. We have Saturday. We have Sunday. Speak strength to your spirit man. Speak strength to your spirit man for greater impact on the prayer altar in readiness for the outbreak of reaching out to the lost across a harvest field. Now lift your hand and lift your voice and give thanks to God tonight. I appreciate him. You have called for strength. Your inner man is energized to complete this adventure in color. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. You believe, say loud, amen. amen. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together, surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen and amen.
Congratulate somebody as you go. Be blessed as you do so.